what's up the comic coalition here for another video for you guys today and today we will be taking a look at the super seven ultimate stimpy from the ren and stimpy show now first off of course we got to take a look at this beautiful packaging i mean right off the bat i can go ahead and say this i never expected this figure to be this large so you got a little boogers and stuff on the side of the box, which I mean, it screams Ren and Stimpy. If you watch the show, you know the show was pretty vulgar and pretty grotesque. I'm surprised that we were even able to watch it growing up. And you get the Ren and Stimpy show logo right there on the back. Beautiful coloring. Of course, on the side, you get more boogers and nasty stuff like that. And you can see all the details all along the window packaging. Um, this figure is huge. Did not expect this figure to be this big. Um, it's a pleasant su surprise. Um, without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and take him out of the box. Let's get a better look at him. Now, I know in normal reviews, they will edit the unboxing part out, but I don't want to do that. I don't know. I just, I want you to get the full experience that I get just taking them out of the box and looking at those details there. Um, as you can see, he comes with two different sets of extra hands. A lot of nice different accessories. You even get your kitty kitty litter. We're going to look at all that. I'm going to have to cut these little protective tabs off so I can pull them out of here. But just to give you a quick glimpse of what he looks like, it's awesome. Quick little note even on the inside of the box there, you see it says Oh Joy. And you get a nice little box right here that you can pose them in. It kind of looks like, you know, the intro to the television show. So now here we have all of his awesome accessories. Now, you may be used to getting accessories in your action figures, but I promise you, you don't get accessories that are as detailed and are as cool as this. My favorite, I'll probably have to start off with, is Stimpy's son, Stinky. Um, if you watch the show, you know that Stimpy has a son. His name is Stinky, and yes, he is a fart. I don't know what else to tell you guys. He's a fart, but he's also a child. And Stimpy gave birth to him in one of the episodes. He has a nice little stand here that you can stand him on, but you can also take him kind of little technical difficulties there with Stinky. But yeah, you can pop him right off of the stand, get an up close of him, pose him coming right out of Stimpy's butt crack, if you would like. Also, we have one of Stimpy's Nose Goblin. Stimpy has a lot of boogers, a lot of mucus, and sometimes it comes to life. Yes, it does, kids. Yes, it does. I know what you're thinking, huh? This sounds like an interesting show. So far, we have Nose Goblins, which are living boogers, and we have a living fart in which the main character gave birth to. Yes, it is getting weird, guys. Also, he comes with these extra sets of hands. Nothing too different about the hands. I guess this would be what you would consider a gripping hand, although I'm not sure how much grip you would really get out of it. Also, one of my favorite things that comes with is this half-eaten fish, or I guess whole-eaten fish, because you don't want to eat the tail and the head, but just look at the colors on it and how detailed it is. It did an amazing paint job on it. Um, just the little attentions to details like this make this figure so awesome also of course he has to come with his own little stimpy litter box here and as you can see he's got his little foot foot spots there so you can set him up in his litter box which i guess is how you would probably display him on your shelves 
you put him right there in this litter box. Look how awesome he looks. But not only does he come with a litter box, he has to come with a bag of gritty kitty litter. And look at the details they put to that. So yeah, right off the bat, we got a ton of cool little accessories, which just makes the figure that much more worth it. Um, you could have a day's worth of fun just playing around with the different accessories and looking at all the nice details. I mean, just this alone is something I would sit on my toy shelf. The last accessory, of course, is the little nipple hat. If you've seen the show, then you know about the hat. Him and Ren wear it sometimes. It actually looks nice on the figure. It fits right onto his little hairs that he has. I like the attention to the detail on the little hairs on his head. They're kind of poseable. You can kind of move them around just a tad bit. The first one right here gives way a little more than the others, but I wouldn't recommend you, you know, messing with it too much. But just getting, looking at the general aesthetic of the figure, it looks amazing. I mean, you couldn't want for something more. I've seen a few people complain that the colors are a little off, but to me, it looks all right. I can see where they're coming from, but if you go back and watch episodes of the show, the coloration of the characters tends to change a little bit over time. There's, you know, a few iterations of the show in itself. But let me go ahead and say this. I know a lot of you have been asking about the articulation. And if you're looking for something highly articulated, you're not going to get that with this figure. You're not going to get the articulation that you would get with a Marvel Legend or an SH Figure Arts or anything like that, of course. But to me, you know, a character like Stimpy doesn't really warrant needing that much articulation because he doesn't do too much. I know you would like to put him in all the types of poses that you would put, you know, your Marvel Legends figures in, but I just don't think it's that needed. And yes, he does have a butt crack. If the figure did not have a butt crack, I would have sent it back because a butt crack is just, it's just everything when it comes to Stimpy. He's always doing butt crack stuff. I've probably said the word butt crack in this video more than I've had in the last 10 years. Um, one thing I also want to note about the figure is, as far as him standing up on his own, he can stand up on his own pretty well, but you have to position the legs back just a little bit. Now, as far as the articulation and the legs go, you're not going to get too much movement here. You're going to be able to move it around like that. You know, the ankles do have a little bit of swivel pivot to them. Nothing too major. So like I said, you're not going to get him in any crazy, you know, jump kick poses or anything like that, but you'll be able to move him around, you know, as much as I think is really necessary for a figure like Ren and Stimpy. Um, you're gonna be able to move the wrist like so, so you don't have to worry about that. You're gonna get a little range of motion there. And as far as the arms go, they go up about about that high. Twirl them around as much as you see fit. But you're not going to get him in anything too out of this world, you know? But for me, for me at least, it's all I need for a character like Stiffy. as an accessory, but you get an extra face right here. And it's really simple. You just take your slippy figure, pop the head right off, and now look what you got. You know, that's not too pleasing, is it? Take the other head, or face, whatever you would call it, is dang near half a body. And you just pop it right on there. Wasn't too difficult at all. And now we have him in another one of his silly little looks. Um, I'm not sure 
which face sculpt I like the most. I think this one might be it because when I think of Stumpy, I kind of think of him looking like this. But overall, one of my favorite figures of the year. I have Ren on the way in the mail. I'm not sure why he didn't arrive at the same time, but he should be here any day now. I hope you guys though enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell because you're going to want to see my Ren review when it gets here in the mail. And as always, happy, happy, joy, joy, YouTube.